So I'm here with Julia. Hi, Julia. Where are you from? Um, I'm from Menlo Park, California, which is in the Bay Area. Oh, that sounds beautiful. Yes, yeah. So can you tell me a little bit about what your project was and what you're planning on doing with it in your future? Yes. Um, so I investigated the impact of donor gender on the outcome of stem cell transplantation into the heart. And I used a type of stem cell called mesenchymal stem cells, which are found in the bone marrow. So it's a non-embryonic line. Um, and I found that the female cells produce a markedly higher amount of immune system activating proteins, which in an in vivo system would elicit an immune response from the recipient, suggesting that in stem cell therapies to restore um, function to damaged cardiac tissue, male cells would be a better therapeutic target. Oh, so you found out that depending on what gender you were, one is better than the other yeah. for doing that. And how exactly did you go about your research with all of this? Um, so I worked at Stanford University, and so I worked in the laboratory there. Um, and I worked with a mentor um, at the beginning of the study, and then I sort of developed it and helped make it my own. So by the end of um, the study, I was really doing things independently um, and developing this and making it my own project. What did the other college students think of you? Um, they're all excited. I was working actually with college students, <laughs> postdocs, um, clinical instructors, as well as MDs and PhDs. Um, but it was wonderful to be welcomed as a colleague and co-investigator with them as well. So it was a wonderful experience to be 17 and to be able to work with um, amazing scientists who I look up to. Yeah, absolutely. So what do you plan on doing with all of this or your research after this whole fair and everything else? Um, so I'm still working in the lab and I plan to go back there this summer um, since I'm a full-time student and then I'm starting college in the fall. I'm not sure where I'm going yet, um, but I would like to continue doing research as an undergraduate and it's my goal um, to pursue an MD, PhD in the biological sciences. So it seems as though that stem cell research is going to be legalized after how many years of not, I mean, eight years, yeah. eight years of... Yes, um, so tomorrow President Obama is scheduled to lift the ban on government uh, taxpayer dollar funded um, embryonic mm -hmm. stem cell research. So I worked with a non-embryonic line, um, but there is a lot of um, promise and potential in embryonic stem cell research, um, so I'm very excited. Um, to, we're actually, we're meeting President Obama tomorrow on the day he's signing this, so it's even more exciting. Oh, wow. Do you think you're going to ask him about it or congratulate him for doing that for um, you? Yeah, if I get a chance to, I'd love to do that. It'd be an honor just to see him anyway. So. That's cool. So you want to keep working with stem cell research? Um, yes, there's so much potential in this field and so much that isn't known and so much that there is for us to find out and so much that we can do with this field. So I'm excited for what lies ahead. Oh, wow. That's great. Thank you very much. Thank you.